Hey guys, in this little quick tip after effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to stretch type like this. I always strive to find alternative, faster and easier techniques. And I think I found a good solution to stretch text. It has its limitations, but for certain situations, I think this is the best way. So normally you would create shapes from text and animate the paths, but I'm gonna show you how to do the stretch effect non-destructively with the original text layer. And the cool thing about it is that you can easily change the part of the text you want to stretch with just a few clicks. And here we go. First, I'm gonna create a composition, 9020 by 1080 pixels and 24 frames per second. Of course, it's up to you. Then I create a text. In this case, I choose the Avenir Next Bold font because it's quite a geometric font, which is quite suitable for the stretch effect. I'm gonna center the text and the composition by resetting the position values. Then I create a solid with the same composition size and apply a gradient ramp effect on it. I swap the colors and the effect and then I create two null objects. By selecting both null objects and hitting P, I reveal the position properties. Also, I'm gonna reveal the gradient ramp properties in the solid. Then I drag the property pick whip of the start of ramp attribute to the position attribute of one of the null objects. By linking these properties, I can control the start of ramp position with the null object. I rename the null object to start of ramp. The same goes for the end of ramp property that I link with the other null object's position. Let's rename it to end of ramp. Then I change the X position of the end of ramp null to 1920 and that of the start of ramp null to zero. Now we have a perfect horizontal gradient ramp. Next, I'm gonna put the solid below the text layer. In the effects tab, I look for the displacement map effect and apply it to the text. Let's define the solid as our displacement map layer and change the option to effects and masks to include the gradient ramp effect in order to see any impact. I turn off Use for Vertical Displacement, change Use for Horizontal Displacement to Luminance and set Max Horizontal Displacement to the value of 400. Before we continue, let me explain how the displacement map effect works. When I move the start of ramp null to the right, you'll notice that every letter that falls within the 100% white area is displaced exactly 400 pixels to the left. And when I move the end of ramp null to the right, you'll see that every letter that falls within the 100% black area is displaced precisely 400 pixels to the right. Every pixel in between is displaced proportionally to the according tonal value. If you don't want to displace pixels at all, the exact midpoint value between black and white, that is 80, 80, 80 in hexadecimal, is the tonal value to go. That's useful in case you want to displace only in one direction. One thing to note, in the project settings, please set depth to at least 16 bits per channel. Every value below, like 8 bits per channel, would result in banding. Okay, let's put the null objects back to their original positions and turn off the solid. I decided to stretch animate the letter E because it has three horizontal bars that are perfect for our purpose. I'm gonna click on the position stopwatches to set keyframes, reposition the left null object to where the three horizontal bars start and move the right null object to the left until the three bars reach their maximum stretch. You can tweak a bit to avoid any blurs. To do the unstretch animation, let's select the text layer, click on the max horizontal displacement stopwatch to set a keyframe, move the playhead to let's say 50 frames and change the value to zero. And when we hit play, you can see that the text unstretches, which looks quite cool, but that's not the way we want. I want just the letter E to unstretch, while the remaining letters stay undistorted. 
To achieve this, I move the playhead to frame 50 again, move the start of ramp null to where the horizontal bars start, and the end of ramp null to where the bars end. Let's hit play and it works. To make the animation smoother, I'm gonna select all keyframes and apply an easy ease to all of them. I tweak the animation a bit in the graph editor the way you see it here, but of course it's up to your taste how you fine tune the animation. Hit play and look smooth for me. One last thing to demonstrate how fast and easy it is with this technique to transfer the stretch animation to another letter. I'm gonna put the playhead back to frame 0, select both null objects and move them to the letter C. With the help of guides, I tweak a bit to get perfect horizontal bars. Then I move the playhead to frame 50 and reposition the nulls like this and again with guides I determine the tiny part that is closest to a horizontal bar. This keeps the bars horizontal during the stretch animation. Let's hit play and it works. Okay, that's it guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I have some other tips and tricks in my mind that I want to share with you. So if you want to see more of this, please like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification. See you next time.